lesson four, page three. And today we are going to talk about um, the uh, Byzantine music characters posotitos or quantity characters for the first time. As a review, last time we talked about ison that stays on the same note, polygon that goes one note up, and apostrophos that goes one note down. We also talked about the martyria. And we said that if we wanted to write down on a piece of paper and give it to someone else that knows how to read Byzantine music and basically say to them, Psale ton phthongo, chant the note, the, 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 we could do that using the martyria to show where you start and using symbols. Since the martyria that we are starting is D, we are going to use this martyria to denote that we are starting on note D. And since we want to repeat the phthongos D four times, we are going to use the ison four times. So instead of writing down D, 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 we are going to use the initial martyria of D. And the first time you say the is not going to be when you see the martyria. When you see the martyria, you don't say anything. The martyria is there to only show you where you're at. It's, it's silent and it doesn't mean that you have to say the when you see a martyria. You do say the the next time you see the character, in this case, ison. So we are going to say the, 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 the. And then we're going to have another martyria at the end, just to make sure that we ended up at the right note. So in this case, we start with the, we say the four times, and we end up on the martyria of the. If we are to chant this thing, we would say the, 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 the. Going to use the chronos. The, 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 the. Okay. Each thongos goes on the thesis. So we have the, 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 the. And if we wanted to write down the ga, vu, ga, the, 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 let's remember how our scale looks like. The, ga, one down. Ga, vu, another thong goes down. Vu, ga, one thong goes up, polygon. Ga, the, another thong goes up, another polygon. And then repeat the twice. Once you are there, say it two more times. The two more times is going to be ison, ison. The ga vu ga di di di. Okay. The ga vu ga di di di. Chronos ke palin chronos steady tempo. The ga vu ga di 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 exactly the same as before. So you can see that this and that are exactly the same thing. And then we say ke zo ke di di. Since we are on the one up is ke zo apostrophos apostrophos and another time the this apostrophos is going to bring you down to the, and this ison is going to repeat the previous note, which is the. Okay. The ga vu ga di 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 ke zo ke di di. The ga vu ga di. Kezo, 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 
Kronos και Balin Kronos and be careful to keep your whole tones between the, the and zoke. Diga na 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 ga di 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 ke zo na na ke di di di. So we know that we ended up on the. So there you go. Um, you have chanted uh, for the first time. Byzantine music. So that's how Byzantine music actually looks like. And that's how uh, people in uh, Constantinople and many other Greek speaking places, Orthodox Greek speaking places, that's how they have denoted ancient melodies by indicating a martyria. So people know where to start and where to finish and using symbols, characters of quantity to tell people by how many notes to go up or down, okay? Um, some practice tips uh, when you practice these exercises and you should be practicing all the exercises before you go to the next lesson. Uh, keep a steady beat, chronos ke balin chronos, very important. Hand moves up and down, each character or note goes on the thesis on the beat, okay? up down, up, down, thesis, arsis, thesis, arsis, thesis, arsis, one, and two, and tria, ge, tessera, ge, pende, okay? Uh, practice first slow tempo, argos chronos, and then a little bit faster. So for example, if you have difficulties practicing this last part fast, why don't you take it slow? You can say, the The tempo should be steady if you start slow, keep it slow throughout. But you can say it slow and then you can say it faster with a steady beat each time. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, keep an eye on your intervals. Dike is not as big as Gadi. Okay. Dike is not as big as Gadi. Go back to your scale and check this out. Uh, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Practice makes perfect. One thing that I have to recommend is listen to the exercises as many times as you need. Now with the uh, technology of having videos, you can repeat the same video, the same exercises as many times as you need. So. If you feel that you're getting a little bit frustrated because you cannot remember all of these new things, we have the new names of the notes, we have the new intervals, we have the new symbols, we have the new martyrias. If you're getting a little bit overwhelmed, take it easy. Go back and see the video many, many times. In a way, memorize it. And when you memorize the melody, once you see what's on the paper, the paper is going to remind you what you already know of. And that's a very, uh, very secure way of learning a, a new piece of melody. And practice as many times as you need uh, to say it perfectly, okay? And I think that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.